Oh my, I wonder if we're a little bit too full here today. Good morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Yep, I broke it off yesterday. I, I think what I'm going to do is uh, probably just fix it, fix it off camera. Just get it done. Maybe when we straighten up the flagstaff. Uh, somebody was suggesting. Uh, what, what I could do is uh, straighten the flagstaff before I glue it down. And it's, that's, a, that's a good thought. And I had actually thought about maybe that, that's the way I'd do it. And then I thought, but what, what if the angle is, is just a little bit uh, one way or the other? And uh, I, I think that in, the, in photos that I've seen, the, the, the flagstaff is uh, exactly perpendicular. At least that's what I remember. So what, what I'm going to do is straighten it up after I get it mounted on the bow and then I'll be able to tell if it's exactly right or not. Anyway, anyway that's the plan for, for, for today. Also that little ladder, uh, if you remember I found a little ladder yesterday. Well I found where it broke off. It actually, it actually broke off uh, up, up here and you know I thought, now how did I do that? And so what I did was I, I watched myself lowering the, the ship up and down, like I did. And I, there, there was at no time that, that I could possibly have broken that off. I didn't catch anything on it. or So I think what must have happened is I may have broken it off at an earlier date. And it was just sort of laying right here on the deck and I never noticed. I mean, there's the, the deck is so busy with stuff. That you do you, unless you particularly pinpoint look at something, you don't really notice if something like that was broken loose. And I think then when I tipped it up, it it fell down into the where it was. Anyway, I'm beating this to death, aren't I? Now uh, I did catch uh, uh, Peter's live show yesterday with uh, Jeff Donahue. Yeah, good job, Peter and Jeff. <laughs> Okay, now, so here we go again. I was checking my comments this morning and uh, uh, Military Modeler Paul reminded me that Steve's got a show coming up. Uh, and it's going to be on exactly the same time. Now, now, uh, now Peter is in Australia. He's, he's 12 hours one way, uh, ahead of us actually. And, uh, and, uh, uh, Steve at the model shed is in the UK and he's uh, five hours I think or six hours ahead of us anyway but they're both coming on at two both came on at two o'clock or coming on at two o'clock my time so uh, here we go again hey Google set reminder for 1 55 p.m. today Okay, today at 1.55 p.m. What's the title? Watch Steve at the model bench. Got it. I'll remind you today at 1.55 p.m. Amazing technology. Um, they, they say that, uh, that uh, uh, what do they call it, EI? or AI, artificial intelligence, is getting better and better and better. And the thought is that pretty soon it'll be able to take us over. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I'm still, I'm still uh, mind-boggled, you might say, over, over this, how it recognizes my voice. Um, I remember years ago when there was a, a program, an app that you could put on your computer and you could get the computer to read the text. And they were talking at that time about that they, they soon will be able to recognize voice. And I thought, nah. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, so we got that done. Uh, um, 
Oh, the sunrise this morning. The sunrise was nice. You you wouldn't think it right now. Right now, it, it's it's threatening to rain out there. I don't know what happened. A couple hours ago, it was look just so promising. Anyway, I'm, I'll, I'll attach this morning's sunrise at the end of uh, today's episode. I think it looked like it was the kind that if I did it in time lapse, a lot of clouds milling around, it looked nice. But uh, I mean, I forewarn you, it it dwindled out. Um, I don't think I actually saw the sun. Uh, anyway, it is what it is. Uh, okay, let let's uh, get ourselves reorganized here and. Uh, uh, get this thing uh, fixed in place and uh, like I mentioned maybe when it actually comes to straightening up this the flags staff I'll show you how I did it uh, I'm planning to do it with uh, you know soften the joint where the fracture is with uh, we'll talk about it when we do it uh, yeah If you will remember, our little dog friend Missy was really barking up a storm yesterday. And here is one of the reasons why. If you watch just where the arrow is, a coyote is going to appear out of the long grass. And Missy is going to, you know, defend her property. Now, quite often what coyotes will do is they will run and just just stay out of the reach of, a, of another dog, especially a small dog like Missy. And they'll lead it into an ambush. Now, of course, Missy was on a leash, so that wasn't about to happen. Now, I'm told that the coyotes will do this. I don't know if it's true or not, and I don't know who they are, but uh, that's what they say. Okay, now, for those of you who are looking at the clock in the background, you're probably thinking to yourself, what you been doing all morning, Ron? Well, it, well the only thing I got done on the model right now is I got the pulpit glued back down. I have not adjusted the mast yet. I'm noticing that the, the railing is, it got bent on this as well. Um, let's see here. The other ones would probably work better, but I can't seem to locate them at this moment. Yeah, let's try and get this straightened up just a little bit here. I think what must have happened is, probably I caught this maybe with my camera cord or something like that, because it, it, kind of, it came off of... Let's see if I can get this now. Okay, it came off right here. You can see where the where the other one on the other side is still on. Maybe I should be zooming in a bit, right? Okay. Let's see if we can get this here. See, my problem is that when I try to move one end, it sort of catches somewhere and it'll flip over on me. 
I, I think that's pretty much it. Let's let me check the monitor. No, it's got to it's got to lean out a little bit here. Okay, that that looks straight. Now we'll get some uh, glue on that. Where's my glue going? Oh, wouldn't you know. Okay, let's try and pull that back out. Well, that, that doesn't look too bad. It should come out a bit more on the bottom, though. Okay, I'm going to leave well enough alone. Uh, we're not going to be viewing this side anyway. This side is going to be at the back of the, uh, the, back of the case, so... Okay, we got her. I put this hoop back on for when I was uh, twisting everything around here. Okay, now I can quite well imagine that our pulpit is, is glued down. I'll zoom in just a little bit here. Okay, it should be a little closer. This um, wide angle lens that I often use, it only has a, a ratio of 1 to 2 when it comes to zooming. In other words, it goes from uh, 14 millimeters to uh, 30 millimeters, so it's not a huge ratio like the the uh, the other lens that I used when I zoomed in there on the ladder a while ago. Oh, well, speaking of ladders, I had to glue one of these ladders back on. I, I think it, I think it's the one you're looking at. Uh, Got to touch that up there. You can sort of see uh, CA glue glinting. Okay, so we're going to try now and straighten this out without breaking it at the fracture. And uh, I'm going to be using the uh, extra thin again uh, to soften the joint. You know, if I was to put the macro lens on and change my lighting, maybe you can see it a little bit better. I mean, that's half the fun for me. Let's, let's see if we can actually do that. Okay. Now, my plan here is to just moisten that joint. I'm probably going to have to repaint. Oh, it ran down a lot more than I planned, but I think it'll be all right. Okay, I don't think I need to put any more on, do I? Or am, am I being a moron here? Okay, let's just uh, wait a few seconds here. I know that where that glue ran down onto the deck there, I think that I think that will evaporate. Now hopefully, when I push this up, it's not going to want to break off. Now how does it look? I'm looking, I'm looking at it a little bit. I, I think that that's going to be all right. I can tell though by the, the way it's r responding here, that that joint was almost ready to break. And uh, it's just basically sitting there right now. Let's uh, let's take the heat gun here. Okay, that was a uh, 140 degrees. You know, it, it didn't seem to slump one way or the other very much at all. I think this is going to be okay. It's it's going to be nowhere near as strong as it was. Uh, so I'm going to have to really be careful here. You know, I was just looking in the monitor, and now now looking at it, you know, straight from the from the side, from broadside, you might say it seems that it might be just 
very, very, very slightly forward. So I'll just maybe move it back just a little bit. Okay, that, that looks pretty good when I eyeball it in from from all directions. Okay, I, I think we basically got it. Now I was able to get out on my scooter a bit yesterday. Not as long as I would have liked, but a uh, goodly long time. <laughs> Actually longer than I needed. But, uh, you know, when you're having fun, it, you never want it to end, right? Anyway, I was keeping an eye on the weather because it looked like it could rain. And, uh, well, probably half an hour after I was out there, I noticed what looked like a thunderstorm. Or heavy rain, at least, moving in. So I got our scooter safely back in the house, and very soon after that... This is what we got. Okay, just moments ago, I got on Steve's uh, live live stream there, his live show, and I uh, guess I kind of apologized for not being able to stay. Told him I'd watch more of his show later, which I will. And uh, yeah, I, I got myself behind here today. I, I don't know how this happened, but it, it did. Well, it always seems to happen. Uh, <laughs> okay, so what I've got here is the uh, uh, number 69 NATO Black. And I'm just going to touch up on the back here of the of the antenna where we re-glued it. And uh, I'll put on my medium eyes here. Yeah, that's better. And I'm going to try not to fill in any grating or anything like that. There's actually only, only two places. I'm going to, I'm going to zoom in. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do here is uh, put this white box up here to uh, so that you'll be able to see the when I zoom in. Now when, when this dries, it should just flatten right out. Yes, it's going to be a slight, slightly different from the, uh, you know, from the, the airbrush, but uh, it'll, it's going to blend in. Right now it looks, it looks glossy, but that shine that you see, that will disappear. At least that's the plan. Okay here. Well, what else are we going to do? Okay, uh, it's in one hour from right now, my neighbor's coming over for coffee. So I, and I've still got a lot of editing to do and <clears throat> get this thing uploaded onto YouTube and what have you. So uh, I'm gonna call it quits here for today. So thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.